Poetry evokes memories and allows people to express feelings. There is at least one poem that any one person can relate to. In our chosen poem, all three of us could relate to who the subject of the poem was, but in different aspects. The poets may have one person in mind when writing the poem, but the subject can be a different person depending on who you, the reader, is. Also, experiences change and the meanings of poems can change. Depending on what the reader has been through, he or she can feel differently about the same poem or see it in a different view. The words never change, but as our experiences do, the meaning does. Poetry is versatile. It is universal. Love is a profound and tender, passionate affection for another person and or a feeling of warm personal attachment or deep affection as for a parent, child, or friend. Everyone has felt a love at some point, whether they have been in love or have been loved. Many people have lost love but still know the feeling of love. Reading love poems can stimulate fond memories or help lonely, heartbroken people cope with things. Love gives us hope. The versatility of the poem allows for a broad spectrum of people to relate and find a special meaning in many poems. The writer of our poem, George Gordon Lord Byron, was born in London, England, 1788. He went to Trinity College at Cambridge University. Today, Byron is known as a romantic writer. The friend and fellow writer once called him mad, bad, and dangerous to know. Byron was a devout Catholic and had a strong dislike for Protestants. In 1811, he took a seat in the House of the Lords and was a strong advocate for social reform. Many critics argue that Byron was bisexual and lived abroad to hide it. He was accredited for creating Armenology due to his strong interest in Armenian culture. Sadly, Byron died in 1824. She Walks in Beauty by George Gordon, Lord Byron. She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies, and all that's best of dark and bright mean her aspect and her eyes. Thus mellowed to that tender light which heaven to gaudy day denies. One shade the more, one ray the less, had half impaired the nameless grace, which waves in every raven tress, or softly lightens o'er her face, where thoughts serenely sweet express how pure, how dear their dwelling place. And on that cheek and o'er that brow, so soft, so calm, yet eloquent, the smiles that win, the tints that glow, but tell of days in goodness spent. A mind at peace with all below, a heart whose love is innocent. After reading this poem, I truly feel that my sister is the subject of the poem. I feel as though it was written about her. Like every single line, I see a relationship, especially in the last four lines of this poem. Um, the last things he says are, the smiles that win, the tints that glow, but tell of days in goodness spent, a mind at peace with all below, a heart whose love is innocent. I mean, her smile brightens up every room and no matter how dark it is, like her presence just makes everything so much brighter. And I feel like she has the biggest heart and she wears it on her sleeve. And I just feel as though she is the one that walks in beauty. When I read the poem, She Walks in Beauty, the first person I think about is my grandmother, Mary. Um, my grandmother has been through quite a few trials and tribulations in her life. And in all of them, she's faced them with not weakness, but incredible strength. She not only is a beautiful woman inside, but she's extremely beautiful outside as well. She loves her family, grandchildren and children, all the same. Her love is unending, undying. Um, she loves you no matter what you've done right or wrong. Um, everything she's faced, she faces with grace and incredible elegance. Um, in my mind, she truly does walk in beauty and in grace. When I first read She Walks in Beauty, the first person that came to mind was my mom. She has been through everything. She's been through cancer. She has seven kids, and she's just like, she's my role model. I look up to her for everything. She, can, she helps everyone. She has the biggest heart. Um, with her cancer struggle, it was really hard for her because she was getting a hysterectomy, and as most women would know, getting hysterectomy out means like you're losing a part of your womanhood. So for her to go through that with her head up high and still with her feminine beauty and whatnot makes me really proud of her. And a few lines that remind me of her are, and on that cheek and o'er that brow, so soft, so calm, yet eloquent, the smiles that win, the tints that glow, but tell the days of in goodness spent. Just whenever she walks around, you can always tell she's, she takes great pride in herself and her eloquence is around her and her smile is amazing. I kind of got it from her and I just love her dearly.